Hi, I'm Phaedra Kress, Executive Editor of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal, and I'm so excited to be joined by Al Ali. He's the president of ASURF and a great ASJ contributor, writer, editor, and reviewer. Dr. Ali, thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. So I understand that one of your passions is the quantification of aesthetic surgery. Can you tell us what's happening in that realm and, and why that's something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. You know, um, when you go to a plastic surgery meeting, everybody sits there and we're looking at the results and people tend to, uh, you know, one person will say this result is great, another person will say this result is not so good and somebody will say, well, it's about halfway good or something along those lines. So there's a tremendous difference in what people's opinions are and that's really wrong. We should have a pretty good idea of what a good result is and what a bad result is. Because right now, our approach to, to these results is that we're, it's, it's almost like in the eye, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and it's junk science. We need to bring it to real science. So over the centuries, people have had a difficult time really saying or determining what is attractive and what is not. Well, it turns out that not in the world of plastic surgery at this point, but certainly in the world of evolutionary psychology, there's quite a bit of information about what we perceive as being attractive. And really what we need to do is we need to verify some of that information that's in the evolutionary psychology literature and see what we can bring into plastic surgery because everybody thinks that we as plastic surgeons are the experts on attractiveness. It turns out that we're not. We really know very little about attractiveness. So one of the things that we're doing is we're taking some of this information. It turns out that we humans are what we call coinophiles. And that is, is that we are lovers of average. So we tend to be attracted to very average anatomy. So somebody like Paul Newman, as opposed to Woody Allen, Paul Newman has very average features, meaning that the distance between his eyes are very average, the distance between his pupils, uh, the size of his ears, all those things are very average and that's why he's attractive. Somebody like Woody Allen has very unusual numbers and they're not average so he's less attractive. So the other part of that is that we are also cognitive averagers, meaning that we average over time. So in a sense, we kind of, in our minds, we kind of put together the last hundred good looking people that we've looked at and we have a framework, kind of a yardstick, to compare everybody to that. And again, this is wonderful information because we can literally then develop a bunch of yardsticks that when we do surgery, we can compare it to that yardstick. So what do we usually do today? We usually create change with surgery, but we confuse change with better. So obviously, let's say if you're gonna do a surgery, you look at the before and after pictures and there's a difference. So we have to decide whether that difference is towards better or it's just a simple change. The only way we can find that out is if we have these yardsticks. So how do we figure out those yardsticks? We go to those averages. And today, technology is available for us to find out what those yardsticks are. So it's a, a wonderful time because if we can take those yardsticks and figure out what those averages are, we might actually be able to sit in a meeting and when a slide comes up of the before and after, we could literally say that is a good result versus that's my opinion that's a good result. So that's a very exciting time. So through ASURF, uh, what we're hoping to do is get some money and start to look at and interact with one of the biggest labs in the country that does this research and on the evolutionary psychology side and really start to figure out these things on a scientific level and then come back and hopefully publish it in ASJ.